Hello, welcome to day three of our Bible study, Chosen. Remind yourself of the gospel every day. My name's Kristen. I love God and I like makeup. Um, and I thought I'd make a channel to create the two so that we can come together and do it together and get ready together. And also talk about God's word. Um, how is everyone? Sorry about yesterday. It just was a crazy day. Maybe I should change my days to Tuesdays and Fridays because that just seems to be the way it works out for me lately. But I'll keep trying for the Thursday and if it's just going to be a pattern, we'll do Friday. But I want to at least get two videos to y'all a week. Um, so anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So this Today in the study, they were talking about um, training our souls, which if you haven't downloaded the Bible app, go ahead and do that and go ahead and get to day three, because that's what we'll be talking about today. Um, and training our souls. I thought that was something I'd never really heard about before. You know, training your soul to focus on God. But it makes sense when I was reading about it, like he said. Um, it's something that you wouldn't even think about really, right? We don't really talk about that. At least I haven't heard anyone really talk about that. Um, so yeah, his first point that I thought was interesting was when he brought up Psalm uh, chapter 103, verse one, which says, bless the Lord, O my soul. And he said, David wasn't just saying something pretty, like a pretty little hem, he had a point to that, that he needed to train his soul to focus on God. So when the, when Matt Brown dissected the verse, he was talking about how he um, told his soul how to feel and how to respond to the gospel. He also brought up verse, uh, he also brought up the verse, 1 Samuel 30, chapter 30, verse 6, which is David strengthened himself in the Lord. And I think his point here, at least what I got from it, is that it's like a daily training, kind of like working out, right? We have to do these certain moves, right, to strengthen certain muscles. For And for our soul, he's saying we need to um, be disciplined enough to focus our soul on God and to tell our soul, which is what he said David was doing. I like the point where he was talking about commanding your soul. So commanding your soul to take in the spirit of God, to look your soul in the eyes is kind of what he was saying and saying to it, you know, you're going to focus on God right now. You're not going to focus on social media or your mood or, you know, your circumstances which is, a, I think, a really, really great focus point. Got a lovely zit there that um, appeared, <laughs> probably, because I'm a little hormonal right now. <laughs> so fun. Should I even try to cover it up or just embrace it? I guess I could try a little bit with my concealer. So, yeah, what are your thoughts on that, those points of just strengthening and our or really commanding our souls to do, to focus on God. Let me know in the comments below. So then he talks about literally making your soul look. And he brings up the verse, uh, John chapter one, verse 29, which says, behold, or you must look. Look the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And he was saying how oh, it's a daily command for us. I don't think that concealer really covered the zit, but that's okay. <laughs> I think our souls need that commandment because it's so easy for us to focus on other things in this world. So to tell, I think what he's saying is it's okay to tell yourself or your soul, nope, we're not gonna focus on that today. We are going to focus on God and Jesus. And the, the things that are light, that are pure, that are sacred of God, if that makes sense. And I could see that, how it would be very valuable as a daily discipline, for sure. Like, 
just getting in the habit of looking at your soul and yourself and saying, this is the focus today. You are going to focus on God. And that's what he said David did a lot. And I don't mind being like David. David had a lot of great qualities. So today I thought it would be fun if I used this palette and maybe we went a little purple today, huh? That could be fun. Something a little different than the usual neutral. So I'm gonna start with this brown, which is it? Yeah, I think this brown is the only matte, uh, not matte, yeah. Yeah, I think this brown is the only matte, so I'm gonna use it as my transition. He, this palette was surprisingly expensive. I bought it because my daughter had a ballet thing and they needed blue eyeshadow, which you can see there's a blue in there. Um, and I haven't used it since. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was weirdly expensive. But it's not easy to find good quality blues at the uh, drugstore. I think, um, goodness, it's not blending. I don't know what. This looks really odd, but we're gonna we're gonna work with it. Maybe I use too much. It's just you know, I haven't really used this palette except for my daughter's um her ballet thing. Blend blend blend. So I'm adding the purple here. I tried to clean it up as best I could. I'm just using my finger because, I don't know, I find that to be the easiest way for me. And this purple is really, really pretty. I like it. I'm going to use a, another brown under under here because I did not love that brown. <laughs> Go with my classic Naked palette. Who else pokes their eye when they're doing this? Just me? eyes are done. Okay, so he was talking about how the gospel becomes our daily food for our souls. So it strengthens our hearts. See, he's saying basically if we're focused on God and telling our souls to focus on God, then all the other problems of your day uh, won't seem as big, which I can agree definitely for sure. If you have this set your intention on Jesus, it does affect your daily life definitely it's just hard to make that a habit and I think that's his biggest point is we need to make this a habit this needs to be a daily discipline that we focus on and I agree for sure like something I need to work on I don't know about y'all but I definitely need to work on that let's go ahead and use my thicket stick it today and yeah so that's pretty much all he talks about I might combine or let me know what y'all think. Should I combine a few of these? Because they are a little short. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys would think that could be a good idea. And because the eyes are a little dramatic, we're going to go kind of soft on the blush today. Yeah, and that is how he ends it. We'll just go over the verses now. So the first verse he references on here is psalms chapter 103 verse 1 which we did he did kind of bring up i already brought up too but it's praise the this is the niv praise the lord my soul all my inmost inmost being praise his holy name great verse and then john chapter 1 verse 29 the next day john saw jesus coming toward him and said look the lamb of god who takes away the sin of the world. I enjoy John. I did a study on John probably a year ago now and just learned a lot about about him um, through this study. And that is day three, my friends. Just gonna pop on some mascara and lips and we'll be right back. So for lips, I'm gonna use the Milani gloss. You have to be kind of careful with this one. It gets a little goopy. So not too, too much. And this is the finished look. 
I don't know, does this lip gloss go with the eyes? Hmm, maybe I'll change that. I think that lip gloss was a little too warm. Um, I don't love that color. I got it off a recommendation off another YouTuber and I'm like, mm, I don't know if that color was the best. Probably need to get a different color. <laughs> so we're just gonna go with the plain gloss today. And yeah, that's the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out today with me and it was a pleasure to spend some time with you. Let's do our new outro and I'll let y'all go. So Numbers chapter six, verse 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. God bless and have a great weekend. Bye y'all.